Barley, an island the size of Rhode Island in the US of A, 5,500 square miles, home to 4.5 million people. Bali is one island in the largest archipelago in the world, Indonesia. Indonesia is made up of 18,110 islands and only one island is Bali. Nearly 300,000 people visit the island each month, creating over 3.5 million tourists a year. Bali is unique in its culture, temples, rainforests, coffee and rice fields. It is also home 3.9 million motorcycles. We are going to bring you a series of four programmes discovering the real Bali, from must-see locations to the trash that you are not supposed to see. This is Bali Uncovered. Um, yeah, so we are ready to get the bus. We are sleeping in a hotel at the airport. So we're going to take the bus outside to go to the terminal. Aircraft is a that's good. That's always good to check that. Get disappointed. We have a lot of luggage because we're taking the kite surfing gear. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, we weighed it all. We weighed, we? yeah. We are right on the limit. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just got through uh, check in and security all went incredibly well, didn't we? Yeah, they don't wow. need to, we didn't need to take the liquids out of the bags, which helps no. a lot. First time since the shoe bomber back in whatever, whenever it was, the early and 2000s. And the computer, and the yeah. computer. Everything stayed uh, in your bags. Yeah. So you just shoved them on the uh, conveyor belt and through they went, and then they did a 3D scan of you. Uh, so it was just so easy, yeah. and the check in was wonderful, yeah. wasn't it? She didn't have any problems, there was no issues, well, there was we no We were underweight five kilos. We were underweight by five which kilos. Which is not normal. No, not normal for especially with two kite surfing kits, but we'd. <laughs> We we'd worried so it. much. Yeah, and we'd uh, weighed it and all sorts of things to, to, to make sure it was okay. So we've done very well so far. Yes. So now it's coffee. Yeah, breakfast. <laughs> we are flying from London Heathrow to Singapore, then a connecting flight to Bali. It will take us about 17 hours. One tip, pick a flight with the A380. You will get a more relaxing flight. But however, we are on a triple seven. There are plenty of taxis in Bali, however we book one online with e-bookers so we were more relaxed on arrival. The hotel we had booked for the first week was a garden village in Sanu on the south of the island. However, we were not happy with the cleansiness of the hotel, so we decided to go to the island of Lembonga, a short ferry trip for a few days. So we are just getting ready to go to Lembonga, which is an island just uh, close by here. It's about 40, 45 minutes on the boat. I found that we're quicker, quicker. 30. We're down to 30. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. The problem is it was uh, such a stormy night last yes. night and it's raining like mad. It's pouring now. But we're all ready to go and uh, it's going to be rather fantastic, I think. Yes, it's three days yeah. there. It's a very uh, Insta Instagram island. <laughs> as they say um but yeah we are excited so we're leaving most of our stuff here at the hotel and uh, we're just taking a rucksack each uh, with a few bits and pieces in and uh, that's all we're going to take yeah and we're going to get very wet very wet <laughs> <laughs> rather posh very port actually not bad uh, we're trying to find out what time what, what to do here we go nine third no.
after our first night in Lemburgunden. And we stayed in this lovely little uh, thatched cabin, which is all rather sweet actually, right? Very romantic. Very romantic. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Uh, it was really expensive for us. 17 pounds per night with breakfast included. Yes. Breakfast is a bit basic, but anyway, it's better than nothing, isn't it? But I mean, it was really, it's really, and it's beautiful, and it's yeah. very, uh, it's clean, it's tidy, uh, the, all the sheets are clean, the bed's good, you get two pillows. I mean, what more do you want, really? Yeah. In a beautiful setting, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. It's just off the main street in the village, yeah. uh, short walk to, to the beach. Yeah. And yeah. it's and great. The trip here on the boat was a bit hectic, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, that was a bit lively. I would call it really and the six outboard engines on the back with a real bit of bling I have to say 300 horsepower each but um, it only lasted us half an hour yes. once we got going we were half we an hour going, late yeah, yeah. but yeah. anyway that yeah. didn't really make but any today difference. we have a big exciting day ahead of us yes we do. Uh, because we are renting a motor motorcycle yes this is and the if, first time in 40 years I've ridden a motorcycle if you remember this didn't go quite well when you rent we rented one in Amorgos Greece uh, four years ago three years ago. Quad bike. A quad bike. Quad yeah. bike. Didn't go very well. No, it didn't. Okay. There's a lot of concentration going on here. <laughs> it's not automatic. Oh, it's a motorcycle. Careful. Oh, they're crazy driving. Crazy. Crazy man! We're gonna park this thing and we're not getting on again. Yeah, we are! Yeah, it's great! We are nearly, nearly arriving at the Yellow Bridge, where we just saw this uh, cash machine. So Simon is trying to take some money out. We have no money at all, no cash. No? Oh, one million? If, we, if it gives you one million, take it one million. The local currency in Indonesia and Bali is the rupee, marked as the RP. And here is a note in front of me, which is 100,000 rupees. And this is equivalent to five pounds. And you'll find all over the place is these exchange rates. And as you can see, the US dollar is 14,700 to uh, the one dollar. So it's 14,700 rupees to the dollar. So everybody can go to the cash machine and be a millionaire. The Yellow Bridge is a suspension bridge connecting the islands of Lembogan and Senegal. This narrow gateway allows access by foot or motorcycle. The original bridge collapsed in December 2016 and this is the new bridge and is now in full swing. The island of Senegal is a small beautiful island well known for its seaweed farm. <laughs> That must be the farm, isn't it? Put, he's putting back in the water, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, so yeah. it will attract more, grow yeah. more. Yeah. It's like uh, going to Cuba, isn't it, really? You know, when you come back to the real life here, it's very, very poor. Um, people are just living off uh, the land, really, or the sea in this case. It's very interesting. Hello. 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 The seaweed is grown in shallow beds and then dried on the beach. It is pulled together and exported to China and Japan for cosmetics, herbal medicines and food items. It's stunningly beautiful I have to say and this lovely little uh, bridged key coming out here is all rather nice. I have to say the colours of the water is fantastic. It's stunning. 
You never have to go far on these islands to find an Instagram view. It is the blue waters and the powder white beaches. However, being well protected by the reefs, this is not a home for the yachts. I thought it was great, and you may not know this, but I've actually got a motorbike back in the UK, but I've never ridden it. Mm. I've had it for about six years. Carla was horrified when I bought it. Horrified. Because you were drunk and you beat it and you won. I know, but it only cost me 250 quid and it was brand new. Yeah, it's still, there. It's still there, brand new. If, yeah. you want, if you guys want to buy it, 